happening? There's an earthquake. Now we need to find out what is happening at the epicenter. Dance now. Dance now. <laughs> Picked up our VIP badges. Whoa. We can't find Chaz. Chaz? Like he completely disappeared. Chaz, we're like lost children without you. Chica's Seiyu and Hunter Mara's Seiyu are casually walking around Anime Expo and apparently they just went to a, like a beer garden, which I love for them. I want beer. Okay, everyone, it's drink of the day time. <sighs> Do we move or do we leave? Is it another earthquake? Oh, what a beautiful morning. What a beautiful day. <laughs> I don't know what it is about getting up at AX, but it's not that hard. Been up for 10 minutes, by the way, and she's this perky. So, number one, we're gonna start this vlog out with a shout out to Christian Villarosa at underscore TLMC underscore because he's gonna be trying to get us merch. We really don't wanna wait in a long, long line and we're incapable of getting up really early, so. Not only did he get us the VIP tickets for the con, I mean, like, we paid him back for them, but, like, he's the reason we have them because mm -hmm. we were in capable of getting those. But right. he's waiting in the merch line. He got like a merch like time or something. I don't know how that works, but he's getting us merch too. This is an MVP and I've never even met this yeah. man. This is an <laughs> MVP moment. And now I'm looking at my phone and I've been being bougie all weekend <laughs> with using my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, oh. not Spawn. I check my phone to see that Tatcha <laughs> has commented on my photo and said, beautiful. Can we go from Gummy Fun Mix to Tatcha Spawn? This is an insane morning. Welcome to the vlog. It's gonna be a good, a good one. one. Full beauty vlog. Hello. Friends, we are outside and waiting for the shuttle, and we are in water blue. I probably don't even remember the dance. I learn a dance, and then I forget it, and I learn the next one. That's how it works, guys. I am in my like maid milking outfit. Milking. Milking maid. I feel like I'm about to like milk a cow. Wow. Want to do a rippy roo? One, two, three. Wow, gorgeous. That was actually pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah. It's a Majuku, as Chaz calls it. Chaz! The Chinese word for reveal. This is, this is literally gorgeous. not even Chinese. This Ever since gorgeous. we did Majuku and we took the dresses off, it's just called a Majuku. What are you filming? Are you filming the man? He's got a stick and a cowboy head. I feel like he could also work on the farm with me. So the plan is we're going to take the shuttle and then meet up with some other Water blues. Shuttle here. Shuttle. Our bus is here. We have to get on the bus. But yeah, we have no plans other than that. We're just gonna chill. And the concert. The concert's the big plan. You know, you know. The concert. You know, of course. The, the concert. That little thing. God, it's the Terra Wagon. We're at the Black Market meetup and there's deodorant. Oh my God. Is that an actual happy party train? Look at all the buttons. This is crazy. This is the line for the pit for VIP. They're gonna be here all day. What do you have? Oh my God. Oh my God. I can put it in my Eda bag! Guys, I love you! I love you too! I got a gummy fucking face! Bonjour, Kyle! <laughs> Salut, Kyle! J'ai vraiment aimé ton cosplay de, de Rick, pis ton slime, c'était de la merde. Salut! <laughs> We're at our water blue shoot. Everyone's so cute. Look, she made this. Actually, they made theirs too. Yeah, we, we, we just didn't. We just didn't. <laughs> Oh my god, look guys, it's Hanamaru part two. And you made this, right? Oh my god. Look at this. The craftsmanship. I'm oh my god. My wings because I'm gonna sit in a seat. No point to that. No. No, no, no. functionality. No. no way. 
Oh my god. Nico, 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 look who it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's your name? What's your at? Uh, Kurosawa.cosplay. Oh my gosh. And you have a Hanamaru? Oh my gosh. Hanamaru. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I've got. You have. <laughs> We're showing the, the Ida. Oh my god. Oh. See, I like Oh, I love well, this thing. You yeah. know Sophie. Thank you. I try and like avoid wearing her now just because of the wig. I'm like, oh. And heavy. It's so heavy. Yeah. It's like five pounds. It's ridiculous. So, it's a couple of weeks. Yeah, we don't like to pack her on long travels because of the weight. <laughs> what are your names and your ads? What the fly? Momo dot Kiki. Kaname, K-A-N-A, M-E-I underscore cause. Have you ever seen Vampire Night? No. no. I named myself after the main character, unfortunately. I mean, you could be diet shampoo. I've just, seen it. You, know. <laughs> you see, when I first saw your name, I was thinking, wow, did she actually wonder how many calories are in shampoo? <laughs> have you watched SpongeBob? Oh shit, the SpongeBob eat shampoo? I will have you know, I am a 90s-ish, 2000s-ish child. I grew up with Spongebob, SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> until my mother heard Spongebob say the word stupid and I was banned for her and Sam swears. What's so great about double stupid Texas? <laughs> yes, but I am. Stupid? No, I'm Texas. What's the difference? We are in the line to get into the concert right now, but we ran into these three amazing cosplayers. Take a look. Oh my gosh. So what are your names and your ads? I'm Ami, Ami Kuo, Yiki Koi Todoroki. Number two. I'm Sora. Uh, my Instagram is at Nessoberries. Hello. Hello. I'm Sugar Molasses. You guys are so cute and pastel and adorable. Look at the googly eyes. Oh my god. Look at the googly eyes. Wow. And they're also Gummy Fun Mix supporters. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I like the hotel, but... Yeah. Gummy Fun Mix. They're a part of the cult. Please sponsor us. Yeah, right. So we're standing in line right now, and we're getting our photo taken a lot, but I, I think Japanese fans are all like over here for the concert. Yeah. And one of them gave us this. They're like prints from the Asian war. I don't know if you can see the... Oh, yeah, I'm covering it there. We also got handed out pamphlets for all the pen light projects that are going on. I will go over what's in here and what color we are and if it happens or not. You, you never know because they didn't even do Happy Party Train or Aquarium last year. Welcome to my class. This is what we're learning today from this pamphlet. Look, they're in the Thank You Friends costume. How fitting. The first one we got is the number 10 rainbow. Today we are in row EE. -E. So we are going to be Rico for number 10 if they do that song. Hopefully they do. Then the aqua rainbow, which we know they're gonna do because it's the ending song. We are in Daya, and then we got these ones, which is the Yosa Road and Con on Rail. We're gonna show our color for Yosa Road, because I think we're in the middle, and then here. We're gonna hide it for the con on rail. Wow. How informative. But this is so fun. Chaz thinks it's a job, but I think it's interactive. It ruins the experience. I think it adds to it. It's fun. Ruins. The merch has been acquired from Christian Villarosa. TLMC underscore. I always forget Living. The I know, there's another underscore. 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 Here's what we got. We got your glow stick. It's gonna be time to use it soon. This shirt. The world of life shirts. Now we are fulfilled and good, and I am happy. I have a happy shampoo. Cha 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 cha. Is this guy gonna move his car? He's in the middle of the road and he's just staying right here talking about Jesus. Hi! The sun is very bright, but we made friends in the line, plus my drinking buddies here. Hi, drinking buddies! Hi! New friends! Yay! Hi! Look at our pretty badge in the sunlight. Wow. So pretty. We are. VIPs. We're taking the escalators up to heaven or hell, depends how you look at it. We were leading the line and we just took everyone into Lucky Strike Bowling. Look at our seats. We're in the balcony, but we're so close. Look at this. Oh my god. And Christian's here, the MVP. MVP of the entire con. Number three. 
Three, count them. Three beers. I don't think we get intermission. <laughs> we get to sit by the cutest cosplayers in the entire place. I'm Em. My aunt is Princess Hargon on her stuff. I'm Serena, and I am at Oyasu Bunny on Instagram. So we are in our seats for the concert. Oh my god, the lights just turned on. Okay, hello. And I got my pen light. We set to yellow from my woo. Wait, wait, wait. We're so close to the stage. This is such a smaller venue than last year. And even though we're in the balcony, we are ridiculously close. And the pit below, like obviously everyone's standing and sweaty and I don't know. I'm very happy up here having my own seat and being this close to the stage. This is incredible. Mobile order the beer. I swear this isn't the same beer as before. God, this is number four. The show hasn't even started yet. No, no one's even here we yet. Time for three more. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. <laughs> Can we do the Chaz rail? Hi. What Hi. color is that? <laughs> it's always orange. It's always. He kind of matches beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nature, Chaz. <laughs> it's interspecies galactic. Chaz, no. Chaz, you had four beers today. It's too much. Please respond. No, Ray, I'm so sorry. That's my oval update. I can't quite put to words how I feel about that to have to say, oh my god, why? We still have an hour until a concert, and there's no one here behind us, so... There's more people than there were. I mean, people are starting to come in. Hey! Chaz real! Chaz real! Hey! <laughs> no! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Going for more. Wonder how our pit buddies are doing down there. They still have to stand for another hour until they come out. I'm thirsty. <laughs> One hour later. We turn to the days. When I'm on my sick, not to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Get the words right. Jesus. No. We're stressed out. My name is Blurry Face. And I care what you think. At her face saying, wake up, you need to make money. On the boardwalk. Two hours later. In our way downtown, walking fast. Are you walking fast and I'm homebound? I still need beer. I still miss you. Because my glass is empty. I should go back and get another drink. Can you stop? Because I'm kind of thirsty. My glass is empty. You know, I walk a thousand miles if I could just see
hours later. What number is this one, Chaz? Well, it's number three in the concert, but it's like number five today. Punch people and do not swing your arms around and don't ever throw your friends. Remember, you are in the real world and we want everyone here to have a great time. Thank you so much for waiting and the show will be No, I didn't get those. I don't see a whole lot of movement going down down there in the pit. Update, this is during the live. They just took a break because there was an earthquake during Brightest Melody. What is going on? We've experienced three earthquakes since we've been here. Like, I've never felt one in my life and it just happened during the concert and we all thought we were losing our fucking minds. Also, Chaz went to go get another beer. That's gonna be number five or six. Seven, eight, nine. They said they're breaking for an earthquake and he just got up and left. Everything has been amazing so far. It's incredible and they're doing all like the movie songs. It's all new stuff. It's crazy. They like, wore the brightest melody outfits and transformed. And yes, they broke they did out with the thrilling one way right after. And Daydream oh Warrior. It's been like Daydream Warrior. Oh my yes. god. We are hitting all the bops. All the bops. All the bops. All the bops. Oh my god. The earthquake was a 7.1. That's even stronger than the other one. What? How are you feeling? Great. I thought I was gonna pass out during the earthquake. I'm pretty proud of myself. I only cried a couple of times. Yeah, I'm a little gay, in case you didn't notice. Oh my god. I oh, want to give this craziness. <laughs> I'm only a little bit obsessed, it's okay. So now the concert just ended, and we are just waiting for the VIP part of this, which we don't really know what to expect. It should be interesting. The concert was amazing. Where we, oh, we're receiving hey. cryptic messages from across the way. <laughs> what is she selling? What is she selling? Chocolate? Welcome to the VIP experience. We're sitting in a staircase. <laughs> we're having a great time. How are you doing, Christian Bill Rosa? TLMC underscore. We're your entourage now. Oh boy. We still don't know where we're going, but we're on a staircase. Stairs, stairs, stairs. I like Chica Tatami. <laughs> I really have to pee. This is the color of what I have to do. <laughs> we don't know how far away we are from the VIP experience or if we have arrived. I think my nose is starting to peel off. Hopefully that stays on there. <laughs> I love your vlogs. Thanks. I know I'm ugly. You're not But ugly. you should enjoy the movie anyway. The, the makeup on her nose came off a little bit and she's freaking out. I made it so much worse. Juice just gave a public service announcement on the staircase to see if anyone had powder. No one does. Well, I can say it so Does anyone have makeup powder? <laughs> like, I'm turning into Rudolph, and everyone's gonna think it's Christmas time, and King's just gonna be like, Concealer me! Shiny, shiny reindeer! It's Christmas time! She's not gonna be like that. Oh my god. She introduced herself by saying, I like anime! And then I'm gonna show up, and she's gonna be like, Never mind! I only like anime girls. I don't like real girls. Anime girls don't have to wear makeup. Yeah, anime girls don't have their noses fall off because they usually don't even have them to begin with. Why this are you throwing so much shade at everything? <laughs> it's just some makeup on your nose. You can distract her by ripping your skirt off. That's distract her by What if I come out with the skirt over my head? Oh my god, just <laughs> <laughs> you want me to take my nose off? Will that make me feel any better? Oh my god, can we all match? Twins, but no. Well, <laughs> I guess that's where the friendship ends. And you can throw me! The was that you can't throw your friends, but if you're not friends with them, you need them. It really doesn't look that bad. Oh. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Those are really good friends. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Yeehaw! I never passed kindergarten, so... What are you doing? 
feet. Uh, that's what I guess what the people want. We're doing this way. Chaz is filming for a news broadcast. What the fuck is happening? Cameraman Chaz Dotsy. I hope they roll his name in the credits for this. <laughs> Fans from all over the country are visiting for the anime convention, an experience they will never forget. But what they were not expecting is a shake and quake on this Friday night. Not even Spider-Man or any other of the many characters seen outside the anime expo at LA Live were prepared for the earthquake felt throughout Southern California Friday night. It felt like the ground was an ocean. Like it did. Yeah. Like it was. Imagine if you had like a rolling pin and you just ran it under a building. Many of the expo goers are from out of town and were at a concert at the Novo when everything went down. I thought that it was us because I thought that we were like all jumping in unison. I thought I was passing out. Everything was swaying, and I was like, "Oh man, did I like not eat enough?" I thought I thought I was going down, and then I looked at somebody said earthquake, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> We were all just jumping around, and then and then I realized it was actually an earthquake. Like people were like moving like back and forth, and then then the lights for the concert started like shaking back and forth, and all the girls had to like go and they like put a hold on everything. Many thought it was all a part of the fun at first, but some quickly became alarmed. I'm on the balcony and the floor starts shaking. I'm looking down and watching my balance, figuring out what's going on. And I just remember, I took a course, I'm taking a course about earthquakes and just what kind of danger they pose here on the West Coast. I come from Vancouver, uh, where there was just an earthquake off the coast. I thought I would escape earthquakes coming here. Nope. Whether they were a SoCal native or from as far east as Connecticut, this is one anime expo they will never forget. Guys, we were just on the news. How cool is that? We were being crying kids. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so there's another concert tomorrow at like 11 a.m. They get in at 11. Yeah, yeah. It's at 1 p.m. and people are already lined up for it. Like they got out of the concert and now they're lining up again. It's they're gonna stay overnight. It's only 10:30. Three, two, one. <laughs> the earthquake was not ready for the anime. I mean, a three, two. The anime was not ready for, for the earthquake. Well, the Shawn Mendes concert is just letting out now, and I feel. Shout out to the meetup that we're at and we were just chilling on the side, not participating, but hey meetup. I'm not looking. Oh my god, hold on. No, Chad. So this is so Jesus. <laughs> One. I got a rare. I love that. Even the rares are cute though. There's only five of them. Oh my goodness. There's only five of them. Such is my life. <laughs> Ooh, so cute. You. Yeah, no. You are, if you get, oh, you are, you get posted on Insta, and I get to tag you. Chaz, come on. It's a rare. Ha, ha. Come on, TLMC. Oh, I got a rare too. <laughs> Bye. Who knows if we'll die? Clank. Eighteen. Oh, it didn't clank. Oh, thank God. I get what I deserve. You're disgusting. But I found a lucky penny. Yeah, what's that gonna do for us? It's like 1 a.m. We're dying. It's 1.30. It's 1.30. The bus trip took a half hour. Because the fucking bus driver was trying to make jokey jokes with us. He was like, oh, put your feet up, take a shower. Like, yeah. all medical stuff. And I was like, he, it's 1.30 in the He morning. was trying to help me out with my feet problem. And he told me after I take a shower to put my feet up. But <laughs> joke's on you. I don't shower. What up, everybody? We're back in the hotel. It's like 1.30. The bus trip took forever. 
ever. It's two, just kidding. Oh my God, what a day. My feet are killing me. I can barely walk. I have to wear the same shoes tomorrow. I might send Chaz to Target to get me some shoes. I don't know why they're causing me so much pain. I've worn them so many times. I guess I'll recap the concert experience because that was the main highlight of today and it was incredible honestly it was even better than the one i saw last year they did all the movie songs it was all new stuff which was great like not that the old stuff sucks but it's like it's so cool to see something current there was a stop for the earthquake that happened and we all thought we were going crazy and losing our minds i didn't feel it too much but you could definitely tell like something was moving the earth. Apparently it was like a 7.1. It happened in Bakersfield, I think. I, I don't know how far that is. I don't know California. If you're in Bakersfield, I hope you're okay. But the concert just was awesome. We had great seats. We were in the balcony, which I just love. I get why people want the pit experience and to be up close, but for me, I like having a seat. I like not being cramped up against other people and not having to stand the entire time, even though we kind of did, but like we could sit during like the little intermission parts, I guess. And we didn't have to stand for like the hour and a half that we were in there beforehand because we were let in early. Then I will go into the VIP experience. So we obviously could not film or do anything with that. Um, not that it was that eventful. Anyway, this is my one bit of salt. Uh, for the entire event. I think the VIP was worth it just for the seats. They were really great. And even though our seats are pretty cool tomorrow too, we're just a few rows back. So we went through the meet and greet experience and I heard rumors about this and basically we were able to walk past them. And that's what I was told. Some people told me that we would get time with one specific girl, but then we saw how many VIPs there were and that just definitely was not going to happen. We were preparing to basically just walk by them and say hello and just wave, but security was uh, a little crazy and it wasn't like Love Live staff security, it was the Novo security, I believe. And they had all the girls ha were barricaded off. We were able to walk by them in a line and you had to keep moving and not stop and you could not touch them, which we all expected, okay? Like, it sounds fine, right? But then, as we're going by them, I'm saying, hello, hi, hi, and King's like at the end. Now, King's the one that is my favorite, so like, I really wanted to like, wave to her and say hi and like, show her kind of my costume very quickly. And everyone was moving, mind you. No one stopped at all. And as soon as I made eye contact with King and she was waving to me, I get grabbed on my arm, the security person grabs my arm and he pulls me and says, see you tomorrow. And so my first reaction was, it's someone who knows me. I don't know, like I was like, no one would do that. So I turn around and it's just a security guy. I was pissed. My moment with King, my little two second experience was cut short and it pissed me off. And then when we met up with our friends there, the punk rock girls and Juice and Chaz and Christian, everyone was pushed or pulled or shoved through that line. And we were all moving. And that just makes me mad. We were basically yelled at going in like, do not touch them, do not do this, do not do that. And we get that. We were far enough away, I don't think we could have even reached them. But that all also doesn't mean you touch us and do that. I get it if someone stopped and was doing something wrong, but we were not. That's where security gets on their little power trip and goes too far and it just makes me mad. So shout out to Novo Security, you suck. But anyway, <laughs> um, Aqua was amazing and it was very cool to see them and actually have them acknowledge us and like, you know, they saw us. Also, I'll let Juice tell you her experience with trying to give the art that she drew, and I showed you guys that earlier, like how amazing it was, the art that she made for Andrew, and it's just, um, yeah, that's also a sad story. So, um, here we go. I, uh, I regret things. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, I had it in my hand, I had it in like a little plastic folder and everything. It was literally just a drawing with a note on it, but like it took up a whole page. I spent some time on it. I wrote the message in Japanese, which took a long time because newsflash, I'm not Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. And I was planning on like putting it in a gift box. Like I didn't think I was going to be able to like hand it, hand it to her, obviously, because I mean that just sounds 
impossible. I was assuming there was gonna be like a gift box, because apparently that's a thing at most lives. I've never gone to a live before, so uh, I assumed. I had it in my hand and as, as I was walking by, I made eye contact with Anya, Mari Seiyu, and then kind of scrolled over and I saw Anju and I was like, oh hello, and then she's like said something and at that point I turned the drawing around to show it to her because I didn't think I was gonna be able to hand it to her. And she looked at it for like half a second before I was grabbed on both of my arms by two different people and pushed by a third person who were all screaming, no, 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 no. And I'm like, I'm not giving it to her. I'm just showing it to her from a distance so maybe she could make a connection if she sees it later. Once we were quickly rushed out of that room, I asked a staff member and I was like, hey, this is just a gift for one of the girls. Do you know where I could put it so that she could end up getting it? And he was like, I don't know, ask the supervisor over there. So I said the same thing to that guy and then he was like, oh, I'll give it to this girl who's just this random person standing next to me and she'll give it to them later after the live. And he picks it up and he put it down on the other side of him on a table that had like empty water bottles, random pieces of paper and other garbage. So I'm doubtful that she's gonna ever see that. So, I mean, that was probably our one negative experience of the day. Everything else was amazing and I could have ranted about it as soon as I got out, but like, I I tried not to. I was like, I want to stay positive, but I was like, I'm definitely going to rant about it later. Tomorrow is the day two concert. That is actually very early, meaning one o'clock, but like, that means we got to get up. Aqua, day two, tomorrow. I'll look forward to it. It's going to be a good one. We're going to get as much sleep as we can. Yay! Sorry, I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> was what I would have said if I was allowed to talk to them. What was your experience like going through that line? Spreckens you dick. I loved it. Were you grabbed by security? I was groped by security. They grabbed these guns and they said, hey sir, wanna be on our team? Yeah, okay. Chaz had like seven beers today, okay guys? A girl said hi to me on the walk to the shuttles and she was like, do you recognize me? I feel like I know you. And then Chaz just walks up and goes, pie hat! Because <laughs> she had a crocheted hat that looked like it was a piece of pie. Turns out the girl didn't know me, so she was probably also a little bit off, but... Shout out to pie hat. <laughs> if you're watching this vlog, you don't know the fuck I am. What does that even mean? I'm fine. I'm loving it. This one wasn't here, but she'll be here in the morning. No, she's not going to be here in the morning. You don't no. know that. Oh my god, yeah. Don't know we that. also got this. This is, These were the outfits they were wearing. That's, yeah, very cool. Shine bright like an idol. Download Best Fiends on the App Store. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to go for tonight, so I'll see you in the morning. Thank you, friends. Whoop-de-doo. Flippity-flop. Are you... Has no, it's for I too. Good night! I got a lucky penny, another lucky penny, it's a lucky day. I finally found one. Ooh, I love that one. Shout out to Sean Mendez. If you're watching, you ruined my photo shoot. And the guy who just opened the door for us literally looked like James Charles, but he was wearing glasses. So I think it was James Charles in disguise. Oh my God, we're gonna get married. And there's Penny. She's risking it all. Yeah, it'd be so funny if you fell in.